Hey, boys and girls, this is Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell's Math, just uh, wanting to talk with you today about writing equations using tables. Okay, our essential question, or what I want you to know by the end of this video, is how can you use an equation to show the relationship between two variables? We've already talked about this a little bit in class, so you may be already familiar with it. So our first statement says that we need to write an equation that expresses y in terms of x. Now this is one of the questions on your independent practice. It asks you to explain how to uh, write an equation that expresses uh, y in terms of x. So basically all that means is that you, you say y equals y equals, I don't know, whatever, whatever, how x changes, you know, in this case, I just wrote down x plus three. So x plus three is what happens to x. It gets three gets added to it every time. And then my new value is y. Okay, that's all that that's all that means. So we need to be able to look at a table like we have here and come up with a relationship. Okay, so it says that we compare the x and y values to find a pattern. Now, I do see y'all sometimes looking at all the x values and saying, oh, those only go up by one. And then looking at all the y values, you know, and if it's decimal, yeah, y'all usually just leave it alone. But um, <clears throat> in this particular case, when x is one, y is a half. Here, when x is two, y is a half, a one. When x is three, y is one and a half. When x is four, y is two. When x is five, x is, y is two and a half. So I kind of like dealing with the four and dealing with the two because it's really easy to look at those and tell what's happening. Um, because the numbers are smaller, you're either doing one of two things. You're either going to be subtracting or you're going to be dividing. And what we come up with is actually multiplication, but we're dividing to get our answer. So let me show you what we got. It says each value is one half or 0 0.5 times the corresponding x value. So here, let's look at two. <coughs> two. <coughs> turns into one. One is basically half of two. All right. So our our equation that represents y in terms of x would be y equals 0 0.5 times x. Or you can say y equals 1 half x. Either one works. All right. Let's go on to the next slide. So here's a table. I want to go ahead and try to do a uh, problem with it and see what we can come up with. So, it, and, so, and this is what you're going to need to do. You may be given a table and just say, okay, here, graph this table, come up with some um, ordered order pairs, and just go from there. <clears throat> so it says compare and order. Back that up. Compare and uh, compare the x and y values to find a pattern. And then it tells you right here that each y value is three more than a corresponding x value. So what that means is if you compare the x to the y, x to the y, x to the y, x to the y. It's always going to be the same pattern. If it's not, then it's, you, can't, you can't work with it like that. So 2 plus 3 is 5, 4 plus 3 is 7, 6 plus 3 is 9, 8 plus 3 is 11, 10 plus 3 is 13. So yeah, that's the pattern, is you're adding 3 to it each time. So you would just write your expression y equals x plus 3, and that gives you your value for y every single time. doesn't matter what x is. x could be 50. We're just adding 3 to it, so y would be 53. So here we have a word problem, and it says, uh, Jameson downloaded one digital song for $1.35, two digital songs for $2.70, and five digital songs for $6.75. Write and solve an equation to uh, find the cost of the download to download 25 songs. All right. So all you would have to do is uh, complete the table, which we have here. All right, songs downloaded are one, two, three, five, and I mean sorry, one, two, five, and ten, and the total cost we know is a dollar thirty-five, but we were given some other values here. So one song is a dollar thirty-five. Two songs is two seventy. Well, I got a two right here, so I put two dollars and seventy cents, and it also says that five digital songs are six dollars and seventy-five cents. So we weren't given the, um, the value for 10 songs. Okay, I don't see that anywhere up here. So we need to go ahead and figure out how much 10 songs are. Well, I can do this one of two ways. I can look at, I can look at the 5 and say, okay, what did I do to 5 to get to 10? Because I'm not going up incrementally here. I'm going up by different things. 
here I went from 1 to 2, so that was just 1. But here I went from 2 to 5, which was 3. And here I went from 5 to 10, which is 5. So I can't really use that, um, that it's increasing by 1 every time type strategy. I have to figure out if I, if I can go from the unit rate, which is here, and multiply 1 times 10, and then multiply this times 10 to get my answer. Or I can look at this 5 and say, what did I do to 5 to get the 10? Well, I multiplied by 2. So if I multiply $6.75 by 2, then I'm going to get my answer. And my answer is going to be $13.50. Okay, so 10 songs is $13.50. Now, you can do this a couple different ways. Um, I need to find out what the cost of 25 songs is. So, well, let me get to that. Let's look at this. This is the number of songs uh, equals N. What's the cost? Well, the cost is, I would, and I'm going to go ahead and write it as an equation. I would say Y equals... All right, a dollar thirty-five times n, because that's what's happening. Every time I increase a number, I'm adding more n's to, or more dollar thirty-fives to it, because each each song is a dollar thirty-five. So one song is a dollar thirty-five. Two dollars or two songs is twice that, which is two dollars and seventy cents. Five songs is five times that, and when I say that, I'm talking about the dollar thirty-five. Okay, at six seventy-five, and then ten songs is ten times that, which is uh, thirteen fifty. So the total cost of 25 songs is you take Y and you say $1.35 times N. And then you just basically plug in uh, 25 songs for N. And then you come up with your answer. So we do that and we say Y equals, I got two equal signs here, I'm not sure why, $1.35 times 25 okay these two numbers are next to each other so all I have to do is just multiply them together and I can say y equals thirty three dollars and seventy five cents okay and that would be it the cost of twenty five songs is thirty three seventy five okay and that's really all there is to it you just gotta read the problem you got to come up with a pattern and then, you know, you can make it work for any, any value of X. Or even you can take a value of Y and work backwards. All right.